Oh, he's, oh, he's coming. Ah! Get out. Get off, Arnold. Get off, Malone. See ya. <laughs> so what should we do? Um, I think I want to end up in Ratai. Let me speak to the engineer. But yeah, let's see. Does he have a, a, a poaching quest? Aha. Uh -huh. Would you have a job for me? Maybe you're in need of some supplies? Hmm. Fresh meat. No problem. I can go to Ratai and buy some for you. <laughs> I could send a stable boy for that. I'm talking about game. Game? But that's near impossible to buy. I'd have to hunt it myself. And that's against the law. <laughs> Says the master huntsman there, by the way. Oh. Henry is master huntsman. <laughs> of course. I pay you well for anything you bring me. Even more if it's something in particular I want. And if you help me out here and there, I'll teach you something useful in return. That's an interesting proposition. I'm expecting a traveling merchant who loves venison from Oh, this is deer. good. I'll be mighty grateful if you brought me some fresh stuff. This is great because we have to hunt some roe deer as well, right? So there's, there's some pretty good synergy there. So we need 12 roe deers at, at the very least. And by the way, I did not do this. I am not responsible for this. Maybe if the horse hit the chicken. Working by candlelight is actually really bad for your eyes. Are you Chief Engineer Fayfar? Yes, I am. What can I do for you? Sir Radzig sent me to be of service to you. Ah, I'm glad to hear it. It's high time we started putting things to rights. There's been quite enough dithering. How can I help with these, um, evil forebodings of yours? Hmm. Sir Radzig may make light of it, but a large quantity of silver has been discovered hereabouts. And no one is guarding the Skullet's mines, the most likely source. You really think someone could be stealing the silver from the mines? I would have thought that would be quite a job, wouldn't it? It certainly would. Which is why I'd like you to go and check out not only the mine gallery, but also the yard with the smelter and the waterworks. See what kind of state it's all in, and if anything looks suspicious. Is that the yard next to the Scallet's mill? That's the one. I don't know what state it's in now. There used to be a stock of charcoal and smelted silver there. A silver store? Could there really be any left? I doubt it. I'd be surprised if it was still standing at all. What about these waterworks? What's there? A stamping mill and washing troughs. They're on the bend in the river below the castle. You can't miss them. There are big tanks and equipment all around. You said mine gallery. Just one. Boy, there's such a maze there that it would take a week to crawl through the place. There's only one gallery I'm interested in, at the foot of the hill by a small fish pond. Why just that one? because I was expecting to find a scene there. All the indications pointed to it. So if anyone is stealing silver, it'll be right there. Should I be expecting trouble then? Well, I definitely wouldn't treat the job like a visit to church on Sunday. You could find yourself facing that pack of hungry dogs trailing the army, or a band of brigands. I see. Well, you and Saradza can rely on me. That's all clear. I'll get going. Goodbye. Oh, okay, so I just had a thought. It's not just checking out the mines that's the problem. It's not just checking out the mines, or rather armor. I need some armor. Save myself a bit of- Oh, what the- <laughs> Shit. No, no, no. <laughs> Why? Why am I being tagged as, as a thief? If uh, nothing's stolen, right? Why? Why? Orders of his lordship. Uh, 15. There's a good chance I'll be able to talk, talk my way out of this one. Let's see. For God's sake, don't bother me. Any delay could cost lives. Yeah, all right. Go ahead then. 1,800. Plus, speech 18. So, okay, that's 1,500 gold. Aye, that would do it. So now I should be able to tackle uh, the bandits over there. But yeah, the ones in the smelting yard are really difficult. So we go back to Scallops. Yes, 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 I need to give her a buck's blood. Maybe I can help ease your suffering. Maybe I can help you so you don't feel so tired. That would be a blessing from God. But how? Are you going to do the caring for me? I'm not sure if something happens, something negative happens if you give her the rage potion. I think this is a safe option. No, but if you take this, everything will seem easier to you. Try it and see. Thank you. If it's as you say, may God bless you. I'm sorry, but there's nothing more I can do for you. You've done enough already. Good. Okay, let me let me go to ah. Scallets. Let me check out my chest. 
And behold. Behold, okay. Yes, the dark combat jacket. This is the best jacket. But yeah, you can you can avoid doing crime. Uh, in my case, I did a bit, a bit of crime here in this run, but... Uh, oh shit, did I really steal that much? <laughs> I didn't think I stole them that much, but uh, I guess I did. <laughs> Alright, fine, so I'm a thief. Okay, fine. I, I admit it. I'm gonna go to the mines first, because there's two options here. You have to go to the smelting yard over here. And there's a gallery and, uh, and the waterworks over here. I'll examine the waterworks and go to the mines and skip this one until the evening. I want to see if it's possible to to stealth it. Seems they had a good go at wrecking this, but it's still standing. You can't come here, but let me go up here. It's better to follow the yeah. road up here than actually go to the camp. There is a bit of a hidden option, by the way. So the game, the quest doesn't actually direct you to speak to the miners, but if you come up here... You'll come across some miners. Alright, I'm gonna put on my Waffen Rock because we are here on behalf of uh, Sir Radzik. We're here on official business, punks. What are you doing here? What do you mean? Why are you lurking around here instead of going home? We are home. We live here. But Sir Radzik led all the survivors away from here. Those who live round the castle, maybe. But the mine ships here are packed with dead bodies. Why are you here? Maybe because we've got nowhere else to go. Some of your neighbours are in Ratai. And are they doing well there? They're getting by. We get by here. So why go and rely on the charity of strangers? What's happened here? They raided the place. Haven't you heard? But that was weeks ago. What of it? Nobody's come back so far, and we can't keep the place running on our own. Farewell. So that's a bit of a hint, by the way. Why are all these people sleeping during the day? What's a woman doing here with all these men? Why shouldn't I be? I'm as scared to stick my nose outside as any man. You could all take refuge in Sasau or Ratoi. And what if something happens to us along the way? What if we run into a pack of cutthroats? What then? But that could... Besides, the rest of them will have to come back here eventually. The mines can't stand idle forever. We'll make do here until then. Where's your husband? What do you want of him? I want to ask him what's going on here. Well then you'd best start praying. He got killed when they stormed Scarlet's. Oh, um, I'm very sorry. So am I. He was a good man. So you'll have to make do with asking me. What's been happening here? Apart from us losing everything, living in fear of sticking our noses outside and waiting for folk to come back again. Uh, yes? Nothing. So why didn't you say that straight away? Why should I? You bluff your way in here and start asking questions like you own the place and it never crosses your mind you might not be welcome. But I'm only... Only what? I'm sorry, I, I didn't mean it like that. Well, perhaps you didn't. But nothing ever happens here. If anyone hears anything, we run and hide like rabbits. And otherwise, we just sit on our asses. So if you don't apologize, you won't see her after their minds. What are you doing here? Why are you so interested? Sir so Radzig sent me here to look around. Radzig, eh? Well, Red what do you know? And you're going to take a look at the mine? Or are you looking for people? Well, Master Fayfire asked me to look the place over. Master, my arse. <laughs> my arse. A dolt, that's what he is. <laughs> they leave the folk here, and no one so much as comes to check on them. But when it comes to silver, they send their men at once. Well, he probably assumed everyone was killed, or, or they'd fled. Lovely thought, that is. A few of them did die, mind. Waiting for someone to turn up. Is bad. You can't blame. This is a bit that. funny. Of course we can. <laughs> There's always someone, someone to blame. To blame. Good luck then. <laughs> There's always someone to blame, of course. She's at least honest, I have to say. She's honest. Um, maybe I need to speak to the mine worker first. Okay, so let's talk to this guy. Bart, what do you want? I'm here by order of Sir Radzig and Master Fayfar. And who are you? I. Who am I? I'm keeping guard here so no rogues get in to steal the silver. That's very commendable. I'll take you to Master Fayfar so he can reward you. 
But I... I can't go anywhere. Who would stand watch if I left my post? Yeah, so he's been told to guard this place. Actually, let me check this out. Are the bodies here? Because this is part of the DLC, right? The Woman's Lot DLC. No, no bodies. No bodies. So it looks like the bodies get spawned uh, once the quest is triggered. Okay, Nemoy. Still around. Uh, might have to wait a few hours here. Just hang around. And also, I like the fact that it divides people and Kumans. Kumans aren't people. I like uh, Kumans even human. Lol. There's Nemoy. No, no, don't go to sleep, you bastard. What else you, sir? What are you doing here? Not so fast, lad. I'm in charge round here, so I'll do the asking. And the question is, what are you doing here? Come to steal the silver, have you? I've come on the warrant of Sir Radzig and Master Feyfar to look around. So tell me why you're loitering here and not with your master. Why would I be with him? He ran off and left us here for the cutthroats and starvation. We are just lucky we managed to hide and find some supplies. Okay, so you've got two options here. One is to defend him or to side with, um, kind of go along with uh, Nemoy. This one pays off. Well, I won't defend everything Sir Radzig's done. He forbade me to go back and bury my own parents. Was I meant to leave them lying there for the crows? There's been a lot of deaths here and some of the shafts are... Well, a nightmare. What happened? We buried all we could, but some will have to wait. I'm very sorry to hear that, but I still need to know about the mines. I have my duty and I intend to honour it. It's a shame you aren't so dutiful to a better master. But very well then. Only one of the mine galleries around Scalitz is accessible. I sent my man to guard it. And have you met anyone else in the mines? Only one, but he was a miner too, and he joined us. I don't talk to strangers. Tell the sentry that Nemoy sent you, and he'll leave you be. God be with you. Okay, so, yep, he was getting to his bed. We just caught him. <laughs> I would say, don't push me. That's Nemoy. That's a woman. pushed him down the shaft. If you hadn't come sniffing around, none of this would have happened. What's my being here got to do with it? What the fuck's been going on? Whatever it is, now you've got a murder to answer for. Only if someone finds out. Uh-huh. Listen, neighbors, don't be stupid. You don't want to add another murder to the count. It could have been an accident. You know that was no accident. Or maybe you came to blows pushed him down and then we had to stop you. That's ridiculous. If you all clear off out of here, I promise nobody will be asking what happened. Why add to your troubles? Hey, where are <laughs> you going? You're not going to abandon us, are you? Not after all the good times we've had together. Don't you remember how we took care of everyone? Hey! Yeah, this was a bit weird. Mm. That was a bit weird. Okay, now I'm gonna run away because I can't afford to kill that guy. Oh shit, what is this? Has he come after me? I think he's come after me. Oh, he's come after me, this scum. I didn't know he did that. Because I usually just kill him near to them or Push him down. Don't push me. Right, is he coming up? <laughs> a bit of a bonk if he comes up. I think this might lead to the... This might actually lead to, what do you call it, um, to the counterfeiting operation. Wouldn't that be fun to actually run into them right away? Hey, what? Come here, I... Oh shit, what? I've been pulled up. He's pulling me up. Oh, he's, oh, he's coming. Ah! Get out, get off, my, get off my lawn. See ya. <laughs> shit! <laughs> he followed me up. That was a bit of a surprise. I didn't expect that. Because, yeah. I got pushed up when he when he started to come up the ladder. Is he coming up again? You call the comeback. 
Oh, oh don't fall down. <laughs> and it's still shooting. Oh, what the? What the? Where'd you come from? <laughs> Where did you come from? <laughs> Get off me lawn. <laughs> there you go. I'm sure he won't be coming up again. What have we got here? Entertainment. Great. Hey. Oh, we can piss fight. God damn. Oh, he's got a... Oh, you want to play rough, huh? I just want to punch you. All right, fine. Don't beat you. Okay, the animations are a bit, a bit wonky right now. Yeah, he's he's basically just there. He got the he got pulled towards me. Yeah, I can't do an overhead strike. Oh yeah. did that hurt? Okay, now I can. Oh, he surrendered. Okay, good, 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 good. I'll let you go, but the weapon stays here. I agree. I let him go. I wish there was a way to catch them. But there isn't. Oh, shit. Yeah, as in arrest, yeah. The only thing you can do is just kill them. So when you go back to Faithful, the only thing you can say is, Well, I, they, they managed to get away from me, my lord. <laughs> Stuff like that. What the hell? Um, This is weird. Where did he come from? Oh, he bled to death. Wait, does that count as my kill? Yes, it does. No, no, actually, no, it doesn't. Um, the only one we killed is the miner who tried to shoot us. Run! Pac-Man is after ya! <laughs> I'm gonna eat your ass! <laughs> Look at that, he's still within sight, but uh, he'll just get away. So yeah, there's no way to actually catch them. Yeah. Right, now, if you, if you spoke to the lady and were sympathetic and all that, then you should go back to the camp. Yeah, she is here. No one stayed behind here but you. Why didn't you run while you could? I hardly know myself. Maybe I just wanted to let you know we weren't all villains here. And why were you here in the first place? Why did you want to kill me? We were holed up here. And also, we were helping them I mine the silver. But that's a capital crime. And besides, it's a hell of a job. A dozen of you could hardly manage it. Just before the raid, we hit on a vein of pure silver. That's much easier to deal with. So when the killers came through here, some folk left. And those who stayed were the ones who knew about it. You too? They talked me into it. Because I helped my man with the smelting. I can do it as well as he could. Okay, so because we spoke to her earlier, we got this option here. Did you see what happened here? Who pushed Nemoy down the shaft? There's no point lying about it, I suppose. I was the one who pushed him. But I didn't mean to push him all the way down. It was just that he kept shouting how if we killed you, we'd get our peace and calm back, and we'd be able to mine some more. But... But what? No one wanted to. They all wanted to leave. That's why we moved up here. People don't get on with one another for too long down there. I can well imagine. I don't think Nemoi ever cared much for people. Not even about the silver. It was as if all he truly cared about was doing as much harm as he could. You probably did the right thing. But why did you agree? Don't you know you could burn at the stake for it? What's the difference between dying of starvation or at the stake? But if you've gone to Ratai or Sasau... And then what? They killed my husband. And I'd have to find another. And now I have nothing. So who'd want me? Everything we put aside is gone. But that's no reason to do something so drastic. Lad, you don't know how the world is. Long before anyone shows interest, I'll have a hill for a belly. And people will talk. Whether the child was made in wedlock or not. But if I had a decent dowry, I might even get to pick and choose. So what am I to do with you now? 
Do you mean to make me regret I didn't flee? I don't know. You didn't steal any silver, or did you? None. It all ended up in one keg, because Nemoy knew some man that would buy it. And what did he do with it? You can't hide a keg of silver under your cloak. How should I know? But they say Nemoy had known the fellow a while. He'd most likely been stealing for some time. And where's the keg now? I don't know. It was buried in some heap around here, but maybe it got passed on by now. They never let me in on that side of things. So supposedly the keg is, is, you can actually find it somewhere. I just don't know where. Go then. I won't stop you. God go with you. And with you. Thank you. Take care. I mean, she could have run, but she stayed back, so yeah. It'd be bad to actually take her and get her burnt at the stake. I haven't actually tried taking her, by the way. I haven't actually tried taking her back. So maybe that turns out alright. Okay, now what's the time? Oh, I'm not sure if there's enough time. Alright, fine. We'll go there now. This may turn out to be really bad. As in, uh, zip across the throat. Right, here we are. This could go terribly wrong. So I will take a drink. You can kind of see, right? Oh shit, that guy's over there. Looks like they smashed things up nicely. Okay, definitely guards everywhere. Oh, he's coming this way. Yep, that guy's definitely coming this way. Okay, so we go around. Yeah. Maybe the other entrance will have less people. Yeah, so if you actually walk slower. Sometimes the bandits have a really interesting conversation, by the way. Maybe. That's an option. I hadn't tried that one. But yeah, listening to the bandits is actually really profitable. They have some really interesting conversations sometimes. Uh, does this count as... Oh, normally you're supposed to be able to check these things out. Yeah, normally you're supposed to. Mm -hmm. So this game is actually quite accurate when it comes to depicting how people would have thought back then. Oh, I can't check this out. Who's there? But yeah, within within their within their understanding of the world, they do actually express, you know, how they think. I was listening to an interview from uh, from the old creators of the Elder Scrolls series, and they were talking about how. It's important to have um, like characters within a world behave as if they're a part of the world. As opposed to say, uh, all-knowing. Because not everybody knows everything, right? Especially people who aren't supposed to know everything. And they may, they may think things that are not quite accurate. Oh shit, uh, there's bandits everywhere. What's that? Mother of God. Shit, I need to get out of here. Get out of the way, Mutt. Oh, Stealth 100. I can't believe I made it through. <laughs> I was ready to hit the sprint. I was getting ready to hit the sprint right there. And yeah, it is actually hitting dawn. Uh, okay, so we're here now. I'm here about the mine. Excellent. So what did you find out? I didn't get round to having a proper look. I came across something more disturbing. What's that? Nemoy and his gang were stealing silver there. The vermin. I thought as much. Did you bring him here? I tried to, but he was having none of it. He didn't want to burn, so he tried to kill me. Well, I'm glad he didn't succeed. But now I won't be able to find out anything. Oh, well. 
Can't be helped, I suppose. Yeah, so there you go. See Unfortunately, you can't do anything about it. All right, so what's left then? Uh, now we have to go to yeah to Sasa. Okay, yeah. So we've we've taken care of pretty much everything except Sasa. It depends on what you expect from the game. So let's say let's say Horizon Zero Dawn, right? Which is in God of War, yeah. which are two console type games that are played um, that have been playing recently. And compare that to say KCD. If you want to judge them as games, you want you have to come at them from a different perspective. So Horizon Zero Dawn and God of War they tend to be cinematic games, whereas KCD is more of a um, more of a role playing game. So you get different uh, properties out of that. So for example, uh, console games tend to be more uh, because they're more focused on, bit, on a cinematic experience. You know, better in terms of giving you the graphical, you know, the, the eye candy, if you want to put it that way, right? They tend to be better at that. So things like mocap and stuff like that are more. Uh, are better are done better than say in KCD, right? But if you look at uh, what can you do within the story, then obviously KCD is better at that. So yeah, it kind of depends on where you're coming from in terms of what uh, games you prefer. But my perspective is that you should come at you should come at games depending on the framework that they're of what they're trying to achieve. So KCD isn't trying to be completely cinematic, right? So things like you know, let's say a lack of facial expression, I don't mind. Yeah. Because it's not a game that's trying to be like that. Whereas in Horizon Zero yeah. Dawn, if it had um, if it had a lack of facial animation, then you'd have a problem. The cutscenes are, I mean, they did try to have, you know, proper cutscenes and stuff like that. But uh, if you look at the animations within that, things like facial animations are just not there. And I'm not, I'm not saying that as a criticism. I'm just pointing out that KCD tries for a particular experience, whereas, um, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn or God of War, they try for different experiences. And you have to judge games within the experiences that they're trying to offer you. Imagine if you play, say, uh, Super Mario Brothers, and you complain about the lack of cinematics. It's a bit of an extreme example, but you know, you gotta take games yeah. within within the context that they're made. Different strokes for different folks, as I say. I'm looking for an odd jobber here. Elijah's his name. From Moho yet? Yes, I know. I haven't seen him yet today. But he comes here almost daily. He's bound to show up. Ah. Well, thank you. Okay, now that guy, I think he comes closer to sunset. So in the meantime... There's a charlatan who's here. Oh my god, Mutz, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't bite him there. Huh. I know you. I know you from somewhere. Hmm. Where do I know you? What? Of course, my dream. You were in a boat made of bone, and I put a crown of thorns on your head. All right. Tell me about this dream of yours. That dream? Yes, that dream has come true. I dreamt that a young man would become my apprentice, my own pupil in the trade of miracles. <laughs> then I'm in luck, lol. Then I'm in luck. <laughs> On the contrary, I, the lucky one. What's your name, young man? Oh. Henry. Henry. Hmm. A powerful name. So, Henry, are you ready to become my apprentice? And who the hell are First, you? First, <laughs> tell me, who are you and what do you do? Me? I am an unworthy, low, and miserable servant of Providence. Scholar or merchant, believer or heathen, I wander the world without home or family, with only my wagon offering miracles to those that need them. That's who I am. Without home or kin, I wander this world with my wagon, providing the miracles that people need. Ointments, relics, aromatic herbs, rare spices, talismans and amulets for luck. All these things I have. What exactly does it entail, becoming your apprentice? Oh, a lot of work and strenuous Our labor. Tasty. Knowledge Good of medicine, theology, and white magic. It, you have to study the great to works to of the ancients the and devote your time to understanding your fellow men, listening to them, and learn to read their Garlic, souls. Onions, that's a pretty challenging task. Well, that's why God has sent you. So what do you say? 
Well, what exactly does it entail, becoming your apprentice? Oh, a lot of work and strenuous labour. Knowledge of medicine, theology and white magic. You have to study the great works of the ancients and devote your time to understanding your fellow men, listening to them and learn to read their souls. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right, I'll be your apprentice. Wonderful! Oh, glorious day! I have a successor in my work. So, how do you plan to start training me? With a test of your practical skills. Oh. Oh? <laughs> I have my eye on three rare objects of great value. But sadly, they're a little difficult to obtain. Right, just so we're clear, I'm not stealing anything for you. Who said anything about stealing? You said these are valuable things you're after. I don't suppose you can just pick them up anywhere. Valuable for me, because I know their power and strength. For an ordinary mortal, they barely mean anything. No. Oh. Well, that's fine then. First, I need a tooth of Saint Procopius. Then I'll need a branch from a topping out hung on a church. And finally, a talisman. For luck, I'm a passionate player. Bloody hell, that's a lot. All right, one thing at a time. About that tooth, it's going to be slightly more complicated, isn't it? I know. Yes, it would be very difficult to gain such a rare relic, of course. That's why I have an alternative solution. I'm listening. A layman named Procopius lives by the monastery, and it just so happens, thanks to my intricate medical knowledge, that I've found out he has a sick tooth. How did you find out? Did you ask him? <laughs> How did you find out he has a sore tooth? Uh, as it happens, he told me at the tavern. But that's not important. And how am I supposed to get the tooth? I haven't the faintest idea. You'll have to think of something. But maybe you'll be able to persuade him to let the blacksmith pull. Wouldn't that be swindling people? It is, and it isn't. If I sell that tooth as the tooth of Saint Procopius, then it certainly is deceitful. But if I sell it as a tooth from Procopius of Sassau, then I'm cheating nobody. Does oh, it really bloody matter hell. Whose tooth I bring then? <laughs> of course it does. The name Procopius in this holy land is shrouded with mystical power. Sometimes I might play a trivial trick on someone, but I assure you, I'm no swindler. No, he's not a swindler, he's just a cheat. Fine, I'll get it from him. Wonderful. He's Pity Barnum from the, from the Middle Ages. This topping out, what's that? <laughs> You're not a carpenter, it seems. No, I'm a blacksmith. I see. Well, uh, a topping out is a decorated spruce or a conifer tree hung on top of the roof of a new house to bring good fortune and God's blessing. Oh, you mean like he's got standards? Hey, I'm gonna lie and deceive you, but you know what? I have standards. <laughs> Then all we need to do is break off a branch somewhere, buy a few ribbons, and we've got our own homemade topping out right there. You don't understand, young man. The topping out was sanctified by a priest, and it hangs on the highest church far and wide. You can't just replace it with a decorated branch. Fair enough. That topping off is hung pretty high, isn't it? Naturally. It hangs on the rooftop according to tradition. And the church is tall. And how am I supposed to get it down? Damned if I know. But they had to get it up there somehow, didn't they? Very well. I'll get it. This player's talisman. Where am I supposed to find it? I actually have a specific one in mind. Here at the inn, there's a dice player who always has a cat's paw with him. That's supposed to bring him luck. A cat's paw? I thought players bring along a rabbit's paw for luck. Uh, I thought so too. But this man is winning one game after another, so cats are clearly even more powerful than rabbits. Oh. How am I supposed to get the talisman from him? I haven't a clue. 
It won't be easy, but I'm sure you'll find a way. We'll see. Very well. I'll get you the paw. I'll get looking for those things then. Excellent! Good you do that, my Good journeyman. Come, Good have luck. Have so this is a completely optional quest. I mean, you can you can you can entirely ignore it. So there's a couple of ways to win the cat's paw out of him. One is to actually win it at dice. The other one is to pickpocket him. And another one is to buy it off him, I think. Okay, so let's see. Procopius. There's two what ways to get need? this done. One is to punch him out and get his tooth. Or alternatively, um, get him to the blacksmith. You can also just knock him out. <laughs> you can just knock him good. out. What? What are you talking about? Your tooth. But it hurts a lot, doesn't it? How do you know about that? And yes, because we have medical skills. As a practitioner of the healing arts, there's a blacksmith down in the town. No, no, no. There's no way I'm putting myself in the hands of that butcher. No, I understand. But look here. I know about healing. I can go along with you and make sure everything goes as it should. You do that? Of course. Jesus Christ, I'm a grown man and I need an escort. You don't have to be embarrassed. Every man in the world's afraid of having his teeth pulled. I know, but even so... Let's go then, and get this over with. Don't worry. It will hurt a little, but then you'll feel relieved. You'll see. If you say so. Let the heralds go forth. I don't know. Isn't that a waste of time? Maybe it'll go away on its own. No, it won't, you idiots. Are you mad? It won't go away, it'll just get worse. The sooner we get it out, the better. Yes, yes, you're right. It's embarrassing. I'm a coward and I won't be able to handle it. We're almost there. Just be a man about it. Yeah, just you're there. Right. Let's go. All right, let's do it. Hold him tight. Let's do it. Ah, ah, yes. Look, Jesus it's Christ, out. The agony. Hey, want to keep it as what a memento? I, I love it. This? Oh, all right. <laughs> ah, yes. Even even today, going to the dentist is not a pleasant experience, right? Are you Elijah? Here. That's me. Why? I have your father's last will and testament on me. <laughs> so my old man's kicked the bucket, has he? Not yet, but he's at death's door. That is certainly interesting to hear. But let me ask you this. Who the hell are you and how come you turn up here with Father's will? Anyway, the old miser won't leave me even a piss pot. He's disinherited you. But if you return home, he might change his mind. Go back home? Not a chance. Let him choke on his bloody money. People come to see things differently on their deathbed. You might regret that one day. By Christ, who are you anyway? You sound like a preacher. You don't have to go back for good, but you ought to say farewell to your father. To hell with him. I suppose you're right. Thank you. My pleasure. Uh, given the items. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid, splendid. So show me what you've got. The tooth of Layman Procopius? Which, <laughs> which definitely, definitely isn't, isn't holy. It isn't. But then again, one day, it could be. You never know what course a man's life might take. I suppose not. But it wasn't easy to get. So if anyone's the miracle worker here, it's me. Calm now. Don't exaggerate. A branch from a blessed topping out. Excellent. And how did you get it down? I had to shoot it down. Watch out for this man. He's a regular William Tell. <laughs> well, there wasn't any other way. That will be all for now. I used to have a problem with that line, regular William Tell. But then I worked out that William Tell actually predates KCD. <laughs> the best way is to catch him in the morning. Because he comes in the afternoon. So the best way is to catch him in the morning and knock him out in the fields. I think if you go there at around 10 a.m., he'll be there by himself. 9 a.m., 10 a.m., around the time, he'll be there by himself. 
Alternatively, when he's walking to the tavern. This doesn't change anything. You can go back to, to Murho yet and, uh, and, and talk to the father, but uh, it makes no difference. So I'm hoping to catch him as he goes back home. I could stop by and see her again. I enjoyed it last time. Oh, he's gone. Okay, so I'm hoping to kind of uh, knock him out. Oh, he's gone to the bar. Oh, shit. It would be nice. Oh, shit, where did he, where did he go? That must be the fastest bath in history. Oh, he's gone back home, you scumbag. Yeah, they kind of sleep together, so that's a problem. Every time I've done this, this guy has actually gone and slept over there. So he can't sneak in between those two people. Um, I could try pickpocketing him from here. That's a cat's paw, I believe. You know what? I owe the, the cobbler some golden spurs. Role playing here. Role playing. This is for the Miller's Quest, the one where you have to steal the ornamental uh, spurs. So what I usually do is I leave some golden spurs in order to make up for that for that theft. My style is to play as a bit of Robin Hood. It does make games too easy if you just steal everything that's not nailed down. The door is open, why? That should be relatively stealthy here. Oh no. <laughs> oh shit, this could be bad. It's not exactly the, the chest I usually put the, the, the spurs into. The first time I played the game and um, and Henry stole from the executioner, you know, he, when he steals the ring, right? That gave me a heart attack. He goes to the executioners, you know, he picked the lock all stealthy and all that. He picks up the ring and goes, this is a useless bauble. He just shouts at the top of his, of his lungs. Not the cleverest there, Henry. <laughs> I think most people killed him in the first run. Yeah, I saw a few YouTubers kill him, but he's the best. Don't kill Herman. He's the best. Who am I? Your apprentice, you fool. I went to look for those items you wanted. Splendid, splendid. So show me what you've got, lad. One cat paw for luck. Marvelous. Let's just hope it brings us luck as well. So we've got all that sorted out. And now to the next matter. Go on. I'm shaking with anticipation. There's one more thing. It's rather complicated and um, delicate. What thing? A shroud. A shroud? Yes. A burial shroud of someone who passed away not too long ago. I'm just supposed to take a dead person's clothes? Christ, no. I need a burial shroud. The precious enveloping garment in which the deceased is buried. And does it matter who I take it from? It needs to be someone who lived an honest life. And I have just the fellow, a good man by the name of Lokota, who recently passed on. Right. So where can I find him? His family is waiting for the funeral. For now, he's lying in a small church in Sasa. And who was this Lokota? I know only a little, but according to the locals, he was an honorable man. You should certainly try to ask around. Goodbye. Right, so yes, steal from the dead, and I was wearing armor as well. Now, this is actually good because I believe that this guy has two sons. Two sons. This one is a bit uh, scared. I see one of your kins passed away. My old father. We're all gonna miss him. I see you're taking care of your father like a true Christian. I'm trying. My father, God rest his soul, deserves nothing less. How have you made sure his soul can depart peacefully? He's lying in the church where someone from the family watches over him day and night. And the windows are wide open, so there's nothing to stop his soul from leaving. Did you leave him any of his personal belongings? They always said he wouldn't let anyone take his cup, even after his death. Besides that, he also has his shroud and some spirits. And have you made atonement for his sins? What? Why? Do you think that's necessary? I'm sure he was a good Christian, but no man's entirely free of sin. If you want to be sure his soul can depart in peace, you'd be wise to take care of that. Holy Mary, Mother of God, if my father's soul is at risk because of me, I'll never forgive myself. What should I do? Look, don't worry. It usually only requires a trifle. All you have to do is donate some of his belongings to those in need of charity. Right, right. But what? Money? Or food? The shroud! Something more personal. Maybe his funeral shroud. 
Uh, of course. Of course. That's a good idea. I'll take it to someone needy right away. No need for, no need for that. I'll do it. <laughs> no, wait a moment. You have to watch over your father. I'll take it to them. You do that for me? Thank you. Go to the infirmary at the monastery. There's a lot of people in need there. Goodbye. Yes, uh, he's lying in church. He's lying in church. <laughs> I have the shroud for you. Have you now? Good work. Yes, well, it wasn't easy. I'm sure. That's also why God be <laughs> That's also why God be with you. Sometimes the fair walls uh, aren't exactly uh, congruent with what, what else is happening. Makes. Let's teach him a lesson. Fuck! Henry! Delay them! What? How? There's a reward for you in the trunk. I'll see you in the next go. He is full of shit. Break it down. The charlatan is lying to nobody's surprise. That monk! What are you doing here? You should be ashamed to trick decent people this way and so near a monastery. He swindled me too. I came here to throw his potions in his face, but it looks like he hasn't been home for a while. He probably ran away before his trickery could catch up with him. Bastard. Either way, he'd better not show his face in this town again. Let's go. There you go. You can, of course, punch them out. Who's pushing me? Mutt. And that is miracles while you wait. Wait, why is this private property? What? Uh, that's decent, by the way. That's decent. Ah, oh, yes, uh. In case you need some Viagra. Medieval Viagra, baby. Should we give something to Teresa? Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Okay, that is that quest done. And I think we've done pretty much everything else. But as for now. We need to go to Ratai. And he will face. Yera of Beneshoff, called Kipper, a mercenary by profession. That's right. Oh, oh. Nice. He's done. Yes, I can kind of see the flags starting stopping. I never noticed that. I usually pay more attention to, to my opponents. Fuck you now. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, he bled to death. Missed that block. That yes, it did, as a matter of fact. <laughs> ah, Mr. Oh, wow, that is boy. Yes. Oh, 
I'm not doing very well right yeah. now. Yeah, too many master strikes and bad defense. Oh, must. Oh, come on, game. Oh, come on. All right, fine. There were a couple of hits from below that didn't that didn't connect. The bonk sound for the mace is amazing. I don't think any other game does uh, mace sounds as well as this one. Yeah, that sound right there. He bled to death again. He's done for. Yep. Laszlo, Hungarian warrior and Turk slayer at Nicopolis. What? Welcome Hungarian? I'll turn him into goulash. I wish there was a way to skip the introduction. Kurva fix. Oh, come on. Oh, nice hit. Oh, nice hits, you bastard. Oh, come on, game. The tournament is slightly different in terms of timing. Done for right now. Yeah, bleeding. Really? Yeah, it's over. He's done for. He's done for. The third the decisive duel was won by Henry of Scallops. All right, so that's the third piece of uh, the Lords of Life set. Oh, I didn't bet on the tourney. I forgot about betting. Here, Henry, your prize. Thank you. Thank you so much. You've earned it. I brought you something. Oh, how lovely. Thank you. Would you like to get up to some more mischief? It was fun the last time. Oh, it's raining, isn't yes, it? Yes, it was. I'm a bit surprised you thought so too. Although a girl doesn't get a chance to tend the wounds of a gallant defender every day. But I can't right now. Will you come back another time, please? Yeah, it's raining. Oh, did it just stop raining? I think it just stopped raining. Let's see. Oh, it's too late, isn't it? Okay, maybe she wants to see us in the morning. 
Um, okay, so that's pretty much all the side quests that we have available at the moment. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. See you soon.